Hi guys and welcome back to Nikki Lee Bakes. Today's video is a collaboration with my friend Pam from Pam on Sunset. You might already know her, but if you don't, she's really cool. She does, she's like a tester. She tests out recipes and DIY stuff that other people have made and then she does it herself. But I'll leave a link to her channel in my description so you can go check her out and then I'll add her at the end of the video as well. But we thought it would be a good idea to make one final like really bad for you type food before you all go out and start your New Year's resolutions. Hopefully you haven't quite started yet on January 8th, but if you have, just try to give yourself like one little mulligan because we are making deep fried Snickers. So here's what you'll need. Fun size Snickers, pancake mix, milk, powdered sugar, a saucepan, vegetable oil, and a candy thermometer if you have one. Now the batter I'm using for this one is a little bit different than what I did for the fried Oreos only because I wanted to do something that was a little bit quicker. It works just as well and it still tastes really good. One little thing to note, your Snickers need to be frozen, like frozen solid. Otherwise they just melt when you fry them. And then I also wanna mention this whole concept is great for all of your leftover Christmas candy. So you could do this with like your Reese's cups, the Reese's trees, just, just, you can fry them all. So now we'll make our batter and this is super easy because you only need pancake mix and milk. So what I like to do is I start with some pancake mix and just pour it into the bowl. And I just, I'll stir in some milk just a little bit at a time until everything's combined, but it's still thick. The thickness is what's gonna help coat the Snickers. So thin is bad, not thick. And once it's all mixed, you can pour some oil into your saucepan. You're gonna need a lot. Can't give you a measurement because it really depends on the size of your pan. Just make sure it's deep enough to drop in your Snickers without it coming close to touching the bottom. Cook it over medium heat until it's at 375 degrees. If you don't have a thermometer, it's just tough to tell what the temperature is. So you can't really stick your finger in it. Once you get to 375, coat your frozen Snickers in the batter making sure you have everything covered, no chocolate is exposed. Then very carefully drop it into the oil and let it cook in there for one to two minutes until it's golden brown. I like to flip it around a little to make sure everything gets fried evenly. Then use a slotted spoon and let the grease drip, then transfer it to a paper towel to absorb all that leftover oil. Only leave it here for a minute, then transfer it to a plate, dust it with powdered sugar, and then serve it while it's hot. It's not good once it's cooled, it's just, it's just not good. And then that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these as much as I did. And don't forget to check out Pam on Sunset. If you like fried foods, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you like food at all, also give this video a thumbs up. But thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. What smells in here? This kitchen's a mess. Who, who let you in here? Gosh, you're just not yourself when you're hungry. Here. Have a Snickers. Better? Better.